going to wrap it right on through to get some more strap out. I got to moving Taylor's Mustang. Uh, whoever owned that before me and her must have really abused the hell out of it. Yeah, the uh, yeah, but uh, the rear axle, uh, the seal on it, still it's it's uh, leaking, smells burnt and everything. Yeah, they must have abused the hell out of her. Transmission uh, only wants to go into reverse. Let me uh, ratchet this up.
Well, it's a funky looking shock. Look at the shock that's on your 52 Buick. Here comes something in the camera. It's what a Willie's Night uh, hubcap looks like. down four more to pick up because next weekend we'll try to come get the uh, comet and then it'll be a toss up between his uh, his Lincoln there that uh, the sedan and the 58 Corral. Yeah because these probably yeah because we both agreed after these four we're gonna start getting stuff built out in the places. So yeah the probably the next day I'll probably look
Today is moving parts day and everything else in order to get the whip it into the pen. I also got to get off the trailer before I can pick up the uh, 6903 Comfort Sports Week Limited Edition. <coughs> and my allergies are really flaring up, so if I cough a lot, bear with me. So, see what's in the background? Still on the trailer from last week. Uh, it'll be this week, and then the comment video will probably come next week whatever, along with a very interesting video on my wife's uh, 73 Mustang Grande, which I probably may uh, review again for the second time. And the first video was made on a camera that I thought was actually good, but I thought that uh, didn't like the, uh, the cold, because it was taken in January. And did the click, 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 and everything, and it's like, well, camera was going out and I didn't quite know it. So, it's going to be an interesting long morning before the heat picks up. It's the uh, late of June and in this kind of, in this part of the region of the world, in Nebraska, we get hot. We get very, very hot. We got a dry heat. It's not safe. these parts too to a 70 Cougar. This is actually a 9 inch rear end but it's not foggy. If you turn it into one, but uh, it needs to work itself because the seal on it's pretty much gone. It uh, needs a lot of work altogether. Ah. you'll actually see the cougar in here in three, two, one. <coughs> Allergies. So hopefully I'm not too loud on camera. But this is the cougar that I unloaded. I made an entire video on it, unloading it off the trailer. But unfortunately, that video got screwed up and corrupted somehow. So I got to get it scooted forward. It was awesome to actually see it come off the trailer with no front on it. Didn't damage the unibody or nothing. The unibody on this is perfect. Because I need to get a cam along on the chain and scoot it forward, connect it onto the bumper brackets, and winch it forward. Uh, and once I get it forward, i got to get some blocks, block it up, get it off the ground, so that way the front doesn't start somehow rusting underneath me. Then get the hood on and stuff. Well, excuse me, the... Sorry, I thought I heard a snake. <laughs> so that way I can get the hood of the car on. Got bull snakes around here. I'm not scared of them, but... But, I'll do a video on this in the future of cleaning it out and assessing the project damage. Guys, this had a vinyl top, and look what it did. This is easy stuff, but uh, the entire roof needs to be replaced. And plus, there are some Bondo spots on here. It's a Bondo queen in some areas. Extremely easy project to restore, but also it's missing some extremely expensive parts on it. Like, for example, I don't have the entire headlight assembly. Those are expensive. But, I need to get some cars moved. This and my wife's Mustang in here, which will be another, like I said, a video on that in the future. And when that happens, all this junk over here on the side, except for that pickup, will be all gone. Friends and such brought out all that stuff over there, and I gotta get hauled off. I gotta finish fixing some uh, weather damage around here, too. But yeah. So, when I come back, you'll see me hooked up to the Whippet. Well, it's the next day. Didn't get this unloaded yesterday because it got so hot and I got so sidetracked. So I figured I'd do it in the morning. And since this area gets a very sweltering dry heat, it's very dangerous to stay outside even past 85 degrees. So, <coughs> my allergy is flaring up again. Get this thing unloaded and then assess it. Looked at it before over at the junkyard, but home and we got some parts for it. Starting to 
and net that's stuck in my ear. We're going to look to see what kind of whippet this truly is. The willies know that for a fact. The sleeves, straight six, but uh, we got to figure out what year it is. Because uh, these are supposedly in the 30s. And some other websites say there's special orders in the 20s, so very interesting. From a learning experience, that's for sure. Okay, so the object, I kind of got it straight to how I want it. The object is to actually get it between the Cougar and the 68XL. So tiny and small, I can fit it through there. And that's actually starting to come up a little. It's a $500 trailer, but it's getting some stuff done. So once I get it off, I shall walk around it and assess it. And look at some stuff to see what's going on here. Because now i got to start taking some things off, securing stuff, get the ramps down, and we'll go from there. I don't know if I can even push this when it's on the rims. I might have to get the post and ratchet it back. But we'll see. We'll see. Okay, it's taken me about 45 minutes to get it this far. Because this is some extremely rare machinery. You know, Willie's pickup, they call him a whippet. So the game plan is, I got one block on the other side, I got another block over here. But, once I block it, and strap it, and come along it over to pull it so that way it's level with the, uh, well, it's even that level. Ah, got a bit. But, straight with the ramps, because the steering mechanism is locked up on this. But, uh, to get it straight, and then, make sure the blocks are completely secured back here. Now I'll just pull the ramps and such right out from underneath it. 
I've done that multiple times before with the other vehicles here, so has my brother. So, be back very shortly. So, it's ready to be unloaded. I just gotta pull the truck forward. Uh, wheels are straight as ever as they can be. They actually barely turn, but uh, it's things are still locked up, so. Get in and just go. Got this all lined up, but I'm not gonna go fast, of course. I'm just gonna take it nice and easy. Okay. Now, I went ahead and put some of the stuff on, because this is what the Willys pickup would look like, but uh, she needs a lot of work. I hope the wind doesn't blow the stuff over, because it's just barely on there. Uh, these backs right here were part of sedans, hence why they called them Whippet. They could, you know, whip it into a pickup. But, looks quite nice. I'm not going to record this too much longer. Because that wind's starting to pick up and I don't want to damage stuff too much. We got both doors, but the passenger side door is bent. But uh, as you can see here, of course you really can't tell, but that's actually a really, really nice shape. Oh, this is easy work to do. I just need to hopefully get a shop built and start building all of the and while we're storing them nothing's for sale but it uh... we're on to our final cars for the next five six years till we get established more but hammer work isn't the best and plus too I'm lightly winded still out of shape but also getting pretty hot has to be close to 11 but yes so 1928 29 willies whip it might be willies night whip it cuz uh, those rims and such on it are actually original so and this has got some very rare options on it too it's got the uh, backup light it's actually got the turn signals with one of them. It's got dual uh, wheel uh, sp spares. You can see both uh, on both fenders. And again, this is a pickup. I was looking around, and I guess those are extremely rare options from uh, customers' uh, specifications only. So yeah. The transmission, the engine, and the rear end is not locked up. Because uh, I'll carefully take this stuff off and uh, we'll look at it more. Just a second here. Now, as you see, I got stuff properly laid down because the wind's starting to really pick up and I don't want nothing to get damaged more as it is. Uh, the show on these doors now Willys, Ford, Chevrolet, Dodge or Dodge Brothers a lot of the older models back in the 20s and even some 30s actually had wooden frames around their uh, around the doors, the structures of the cab or the sedan or whatever it may be uh, they sometimes only use like a type of normal, normal wood or an oak uh, some cases they might actually use white oak which this looks like to be appears to be. Of course, you really can't tell because it's really it's really far gone. But white oak was an expensive option. They didn't do it too often, but again, it was customers' uh, specifications. It was a special order. That's why this pickup has two spare tire holders on each side. Customer specification and special order. Don't know what else has actually gone up to this pickup other than just the rare factory tail light, the factory uh, signal lights, which hopefully you can see, which is right here. They come up and they face forward.
and then yeah, I know I'm holding. Well, yeah, you have the spare tire holder. I don't know uh, how far up it held, but it was like that on each side. It was reinforced in the back. And some people, when they uh, restore these, when they want to, you know, keep stuff original, they actually reinforce this particular spot because you know when you're going down the road, you know, stuff, you know, wobbles and vibrates and everything, and it'll actually cause some stress tears within the metal. But with these doors, there wasn't too much to them. And they actually did roll down too. Here, let's set that down. But also another thing too, hopefully, looks like you can see it in the camera, is I'll probably better adjust it, so I'll be right back. Now, as you can see with Willie's pickups, when you ever see a pickup like this, the back fenders are always higher than the fronts. Even though in the way they're still the same height, but there's a very distinct uh, difference between the front and the back. The reason why the back need to be this tall is because the brackets to the box were actually factory bolted onto the fender in order to keep things straight. And plus, you to keep this on and properly in, in you know, you know proper check. Guys, uh, when people use these for like work, for like traveling around and stuff, you know, the boxes, uh, the wooden boxes always tend to vibrate more. So when you restore your willies, you always want to make sure that your willies is act, willies' box is actually properly secured with the proper rubber mounts and everything else. Yeah, sure, you may have to upgrade it a little, but to make sure that when these are wobbling, just like the spare tire holder, you don't want to get stress cracks up here on top of your fender. Or, on, you know, it goes running through and then it's going to cost, you know, an extra arm and leg in order to repair it. And, I, and you don't want to take this off and, you know, do it over and over and over again if you want to turn this even to a, like a daily driver in modern age. I mean, it's possible you could do it. These can go up to, what, 45 or 50 miles an hour. Uh, the straight six, three speed, so it'll be able to do it. But, back to the fender. These are taller than the front, and if you see this kind of particular motion of a bender, well, I call it bender, but you know, arcway, is that this is a pickup fender. Now, if it was a car fender, it would be something similar to the front, but it arch a little bit more. They have a more of a detailed style for a, for a more classical look. But with this, this was pretty much a workload kind of pickup. But again, the rims, I what we found is that willies in the 20s would have wooden spoke rims but for some reason they stopped giving out uh, detailed information about their pickups and then here comes World War II and you can find all the information because you know Willie's Jeep but from what I also found out from somebody that this is a special order people's like oh that's impossible and blah 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 it's like well the factories on rare occasions when they when the customers spent more extra money they're actually able to get steel rims back in the 20s and when you think about it too when you look at the older moving trucks back in the day like the old half tons three quarter tons well this is not even a, a half ton but like the big giant uh work pickups that they had they had steel rims and they're spe you know specifically ordered from the companies that ordered them you know to do the work they're the workhorses so this, someone just, uh, I don't know if it was either a workhorse or what, but someone spent the extra money for steel rims and an actual straight six. So, again, who knows? This is what I've learned. Uh, you can take my word, you know, for, with a grain of salt. But researching and researching, this is either a 28 or a 29, but still, I mean, Willie's Night Pickup. It's not a Willie's... Well, it's not just a Willie's Whippet, it's a Willie's Night Whippet. Uh, I don't know of how many they made, but a Willie's Night Whippet actually exists because this is one right here. It's not a Willie's Whippet, Willie's Night Whippet. So, I don't know what else would be missing on it, what original stuff might have been taken off of it. Because uh, it's just pretty much, you know, bare bone. It'd be, you know, switched around with any other, you know, normal Whippet, but with the rare options and everything on it, and who knows what rare options were inside the cab at the time, including the tailgate and stuff. Who knows what uh, what's all been missing? Uh, not unless if we find the manufacturer stuff and you know from the customer, you know what they ordered and if it still exists in today's age. Uh, 
on an honesty, we may never know what was uh, fully part of this Willie's night whippet. Keep wanting to say a pickup, but it's a, well, it's, you know, still a pickup, but whip it, you know, whatever. It's still a pickup because the box and everything. You could turn this into a sedan, easily a two door sedan, which this kind of fender style would actually be in at some point, but uh, you don't really run across Willie's Night Whip It pickups, so it's definitely gonna, it's definitely gonna stay the same, it's gonna get restored. There's some work, but all in all, it's extremely easy. If I, uh, if I didn't have my English wheel and the die stolen from me years and years ago from a sheriff that didn't want to do nothing, I would actually have a lot of these uh, partially restored by now. But getting a few more cars and then I'll start recovering lost tools and everything and hopefully get a shop and then I'll live stream to all of you. So hopefully that could be a reality in the next couple of years because when I start restoring stuff I will actually live feed my stuff and I'll teach all of you on what I know and I don't know everything but I'll just you know teach people what I know and show you know the projects that we're working on so if you like this video give a thumbs up if you hate this video give a thumbs down I don't care you're the viewer you're the critic if you like my stuff subscribe and also too Click that bell down below, it really does help out. Well, I'll probably better get stuff picked up and situated. Because I'll probably mess with this later next week. Because i got a few more things to do. So this is Aaron at Dirt Cat Auto and Cross Garage. And I hope you enjoyed this video about the 19... I guess we'll just call it 1928 Willie's Night uh, Whip It for now until I find out the year. And it is 20s, but... I just don't know exactly what year. So... You'll have a good one now and stay safe. Stay sane. Please stay sane. That's all I ask for. But, have a good one now.